Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you how I bleach and sublimate my t-shirts. So it's really fun, it's a simple process. Um, this is just how I do it. Uh, lots of people do it many different ways. There's no right way or wrong way. Um, it's just how I do it and it's really simple, it's really easy. Um, anybody can do it. And I will show y'all how I do that today, and let's get started. Okay, guys, so I'm outside, and I'm sorry it's super bright, I know, but that's exactly what you want. You want it to be as hot as possible and full sun. So that's what's going to give you the best bleach. It will turn super fast. If you have a pretty cloudy day, um, it will... It'll turn, but it'll take a little bit longer. It might not turn as much as you want it. So I just have my shirt here. It's laying on just an old towel. Um, I'm just doing this because I'm working on a trailer because I don't have like a concrete driveway. If you have a concrete driveway, by all means, sweep it off, throw that baby down on there. It'll be fine. But my trailer here is a little bit dirty, so I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible. It has to be washed later anyways, but still. This is a George brand shirt from Walmart. It's 65% polyester and 35% cotton. So if you are planning on doing sublimation on this, make sure you have at least 50% polyester or greater. The greater, the better. Okay, so I just have my bleach here and it's, uh, straight bleach. I don't mix my bleach. So here we go. Just going to spray it on. I want my design kind of in this area so I'm going to spray it a little bit heavier here in a mist so it'll be more solid and then I'll put spots everywhere else. So let's just do it. I'm trying to film and do this at the same time so it's a little bit hard. Sorry. One, two. I always try to spray the bottom so it has some really cool designs down here. And we're just going to do some little more dots. And if you just barely squeeze the trigger, it's what gives you those big drops. And that's what gives it more dimension and looks prettier. In my opinion, it's totally optional. Whatever you want to do. All right, so we are just going to let that sit there, let the sun do its job, and I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so it has been about five minutes. And I'm not sure if you can even tell on camera because it's so bright out here, but it is bleached a little bit. It's not quite as much as I want, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. That's all you have to do. And I didn't want this shirt just super bleached, so it's okay. So I'm going to do that. And also I wanted to show you, if you want like the creases in the bleach, all you have to do is like wrinkle your shirt up kind of like this. And when you spray it, it's going to miss those areas, and it gives really cool effects. This one I didn't really want any, so I left it pretty much flat. And I hope you can see that. I'm going to let that sun just a little bit, and then we're going to flip it over and do a little bit on back. See you in just a sec. Okay, so it's been about five more minutes, and it's about 100 degrees here in Oklahoma, so it's pretty much dry. And that's all you got to do is wait for it to dry. If it's not as good as you want it, you just add more and wait for it to dry. So I think this is about as good as it's going to get for the front. So I'm just going to flip it over and we're going to do a little bit on the back. You can see already, or I hope you can see, that some already went through to the back. Especially the bigger spots. So I'm just going to add just a little bit more and that's all it's going to need. Alright. 
wait five more minutes and then this will be on to the next phase. Okay, so this is about done. It's been about five more minutes. It looks pretty dry. So the next step is going to be taking it in and washing it in hot water. Hot water is what will neutralize and stop the bleaching process. Um, some people use peroxide. They just spray the peroxide all over it and then they wash it. That's just personal preference. I just found that hot water works for me. So that's just what I do. Um, so I'm just going to go do that. And then I will show you how I sublimate the finished product. Okay, y'all. So I've got my shirt finished bleaching. I got it washed and dried. You can see a little spot. The lighting's not that great in here. I'm in my laundry room. You know, you got to work with what space you got. And this is the only space extra I have. So I've got my heat press on and it is heated up to about 400. We're going to do it for 60 seconds. So I've got it lined up. I made sure that my collar is just off the back so it doesn't have a hump right there same on the sleeves and I've got it lined up where it's right in the middle now this is the design I'll be putting on and I'm sorry I'm holding my phone and doing this at the same time so bear with me so we are just going to line this up right here Okay, you see how I just, uh, you know, eyeball it. Alright, so I think it's lined up pretty good. So now I'm going to take my parchment paper, just lay that on top to protect any ink from coming through. And then I actually put on this little paper here as well. Okay, so we are going to press for 60 seconds, light pressure, not real hard. Okay, now we wait. Okay. There we go. I hope you can see that. Okay, y'all. So that was it. Super simple, right? Didn't take very long at all. The hardest part about it is waiting for your shirt to be washed and dried. <laughs> so I wanted to show you the finished product. Here it is. You can't feel this. Sublimation is just ink. And if I have my eyes closed, I wouldn't even know it was there. Cannot feel it at all. The bleach bleached pretty good. Some bleach, some shirts will bleach brighter white. This being a really light color, that's why you can't see the bleach as much. Um, some blacks bleach to bright white, so it's like really pretty. It's black with white on it and it's really good. So you just have to kind of play with what color shirt you want and what colors you're wanting it to end up as so that was it um this shirt will be listed on my etsy store if some of you don't want to make the process yourself do it um it will be linked in my etsy store i will put that link down in the description box below and you can go to my etsy store and see what all i have i'd love to help you out if you're not wanting to do the process yourself so I think that's all I have for you today, guys. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to help you out, answer any questions I can. And that's it for now. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.
put that link in the comments down below. I'll put that in the 